everybody. Good morning. This is Jean here. I just wanted to show you some of the progress that we have made in our room since my last video. Don't worry, I'm going to start sewing soon. <laughs> Once this room gets done. We have two major things yet left to do, which uh, I'll explain to you in a moment. But I just wanted to show you that um, the last video, Ian and Maxwell were building the top two shelves. Uh, this shelf here and that shelf there, above the doorway there. They were building that, and look what I've put up there, my blue fabric. But also, I have a little story, if any of you are interested. Let me see if I can v zoom this in. Yeah. Slowly. On top of my shelves there, as you can see, I have all my glass apothecary carry jars filled with little notions, ribbons, threads, things that I obviously don't use <laughs> lots of times. There's some jelly rolls up there. All my glass apothecary jars. These glass jars, however many are there, I don't know how many, I have to count them. We had, um, when our son got married uh, 10, 12 years ago, we had a candy bar. I had, that was sort of a present from us to him, um, a candy bar, and I had 32, I collected 30 two glass apothecary jars with lids and filled them all with candy. <laughs> 32 different candies. I spent months. They got married in uh, September or October and um, well, I forget which one. And um, a Halloween candy came in handy. <laughs> I, got, I got candy in bulk and it was a magnificent candy bar if you can imagine. These beautiful jars. Um, I, th I, I, I did count them, or Maxwell counted them the other day. I do believe some of them got uh, broke. I think two of them got broken, and also a couple people have borrowed them, and I've never seen them. But this is my majority of my apothecary jars that now have pride of place. Oh, those two ornaments right there. They're from Germany. They were my great-grandmother's. I thought I'll put them up there nice and safe and if you remember my last video I'll try to go slow here I was talking to you about a mural now I'm going to take I had taken some pictures of this at our home where we used to live it was in our family room the mural the little the the, the spring summer autumn into the winter scene. That was hand painted by a dear friend of ours who had come over for the weekend. Ian and I had gone away on a small vacation and she was looking after the children and she had popped up and said, she said, she's a painter and she said, oh, she said, your little shelf there with your names, your houses and your turtles, which again, I'll give you the story, need a scene behind them. So she got popped up on a ladder, apparently. We were away. This was a surprise. And she came and she painted that. That mural. That was in our old house on the soffit, running from our family room to the kitchen. And we obviously moved from our old house. And I was very sad to see our lovely mural go. And I had gotten in touch with... Ben, who is Jen's, my friend Jen's husband, who is a printer, and Ben came over and he said, well, he said, yeah, he said, if you take high definition photographs of that mural, I can, I can paint that. I mean, I can print it. I can print it out. Yeah, we have printers, papers long enough to do that. So that was the plan. We were going to have this, our, our mural printed out, and we were going to put it here, because this is the only room in the whole entire house that's big enough for the mural. 
This is how big our other house was. <laughs> this was the family room just into the kitchen, this mural. So anyway, that wasn't a priority, but we were going to do it. Anyway, about two weeks ago, Elliot, our son Elliot, came in with four sections, sp spring, summer, autumn, and winter, four sections that he cut out. <laughs> he cut out the drywall in our home. <gasps> And he, uh, I'll put a little clip of what he did. He cut the mural out of the wall, out of the soffit. And he bought it at home in four pieces. He bought it here in four pieces. He says, we couldn't leave the mural there. It's too special. So, my husband and he and Maxwell just put it up. They joined it together. They put it up. And there is the story of the mural. So I have the original mural. And I said, you cut it out of the drywall. He says, well, the house is being renovated. Our, our old house is being renovated by the builders anyway. He said, so they can repair the drywall. <laughs> so he took our mural. Very special. But the little story, the story about our little shelf here. Um, about 20 years ago, I don't know if you can see. Again, I'll try to do a, a close-up. Uh, we had a, 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 a gentleman in our uh, kingdom hall, our church, who was, who was just studying the Bible. He was not one of Jehovah's Witnesses. He was just studying the Bible. But he was coming to our kingdom hall, and every week he would ask the different brothers and sisters at our hall um, their names, and then he would go back to his workshop and make a name on his little bandsaw, mounted on a piece of wood, and, and make these names. And he came up to me, I was, I had, we had nine children at the time. His name was Guy. Guy came up to me, he was about 75, 78 years old. He came up to me and he said, oh, Mrs. True Love, he said, I'd like to make your family's names. Could you, and he had a little post-it page. He says, could you tell me their names? And I, I said, oh, no, 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 Guy. I said, you don't understand. We have nine children. He said, no, no, that's okay. Well, I'm like, what? So I started to tell him our names. Well, we have some weird names. <laughs> Luke, Justin, Jordan, that was fine. But then we got into Jean-Pierre and Francois. He gave me the pad of paper and a pen. He said, please just write them down. I'm like, okay. So I wrote them all down. And then that was on a Thursday evening at our meeting. And on, on Sunday, at the very next meeting, here comes Guy with a little carrier bag with all of our names. Wooden names all cut out from Ian to, Mac, to, to Niles. Well, what happened? And I was like gobsmacked. I'm like, what? So my husband said, well, these obviously are special, special, special names, a special present. They are going to get pride of place. So they went up on this soffit. He made the little shelf. And then what had happened is at the time, I was collecting the houses. These are called cat's meow houses. And all of our children chose a house. That's actually the angel of the sea bed and breakfast. <laughs> It's down in, New in Cape May, New Jersey. Jordan chose that one. But we all chose a house that we would like to live in. Well, as far as the names went, Guy, unfortunately, had gotten cancer and he died. But when he was in the hospital, I had just given birth to Maxwell. This is 20 years ago. And Guy was ill. And I'm thinking, oh, Guy, <laughs> Guy, get better. We need Maxwell's name. I'm being horrible. But he died, unfortunately. And we went down, and I'm like, we need to get a name for Maxwell. We need Maxwell's name. So we went down to Cape May, actually. Man alive, we got Maxwell's name. They don't obviously match. They were $4 a letter. Four bucks a letter. That's funny. So they don't match, but of course we were going to get not Ma Maxwell's name. Then, okay, so that's the mural, that's the houses, that's the names. Then, if you notice, in graduating size, we have these turtles, wooden turtles. Maxwell was born, and we had a lovely sister, a lovely friend at our kingdom hall, whose mother was not one of Jehovah's Witnesses. She lived in Uganda. She came to visit when Maxwell was about two weeks old. And her daughter... She came to visit us, and she was a lovely, lovely woman. She, uh, she, she um, helped orphanages. Uh, she ran, ran an orphanage in Uganda. 
well, in a little village in Uganda. Here she went back to her tribe in Uganda, told the village elder about our family <laughs> with our 10 children, and the village elder carved these turtles, which are apparently are indigenous to the area, in graduated sizes from Ian down to Maxwell. And on her next journey over to America, she bought the turtles. <gasps> we were like shocked, 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 shocked. So of course they had pride of place. So my husband put little eye hooks in them and put them underneath each one of our children's names. So obviously this mural, our homes, our names, and our turtles get pride of place. So we can see them every day. And again, as you know, you might be, you might be cottoning on, we're sort of artsy fortsy people. We like things, we like mural, we like stuff. And um, we like precious things. So the last thing, that's enough of that. The last thing, or two things that now need to be done is my rolling ladder which is, won't take too long, but again, my husband is going to work and, and the boys are going to work, so that will be done. That is a ghost, try to go slowly. That is right there, the rail and the ladder. And that's going to be a rolling ladder, like a ro rolling Beauty and the Beast ladder, which is gonna roll on this top shelf here. So I will be able to reach, probably not the jars, but my, my blue and my green, which I never have used. That's why there's so much blue. But I'm like, Ian, all this stinking blue fabric. He says, put it up there near the sky. So that's where my blue fabric goes. Isn't that funny? And as I said, this is my art. This is our beautiful art wall. We get very much pleasure. Ian came in the other day, having worked as, as he does very, very hard for me and us. There's my little office area. He came in. There are stools. <laughs> there are, um, like, excuse me, his tools here. But this is, he was sitting here and uh, having a cup of tea. He's like, I love our room. Oh, um, just in case any of you are concerned, I haven't opened these curtains because it's morning. Um, the the, 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 the uh, room is full of bright light, bright, bright, bright light. And the fading, we are very well aware. My husband uh, owns a um, window tint business. Um, so he will be putting film, window film, solar control window film on these windows. So there will be no fading. He's been doing this for um, almost 30 years now in this country. And um, that's, that was our main, that was his main job. Um, I got more little tchotchke stuff out. <laughs> Just stuff. And then this wall, I have gotten, I got my machines out. I was just trying them out. They all have a different purpose. But mainly I'll be using my Juki over there. My ironing board goes here. There's a ladder that we're still using. Um, I got these, these bins, and these are holding fat quarters and tape and all different, some kits and all different things which I have marked. And again, these are my sort of random fabrics, which is fine. And down here are some of my panels that I have. And again, some kits. But I, quite, I like these dividers. And just look how they fit. Look how well they fit. I gotta get one more in there. <laughs> they fit beautifully on that shelf. Isn't that funny? I think they're from Closet Made. I think they were uh, five ninety eight a piece. So we, Ian's like, no, to get organized, I got all my fabrics out. Um, yeah, so this is, I'll just show you. Again, this is some of the hardware for, the, for my ladder over down here. And there's some, some tools over there. But this is our view at the back here. This is my view. Oops, our barn door is open. <laughs> oh, we, we had some tools out, our, our saws under there. There's a, a lovely little fire pit down there. There's a horse farm over there. So this will be real pretty in the summertime. Bit of a mess now. There's a log, log splitter in our tractor. And there's some mirrors over here that we have yet to hang. But there it is, we, get, we have five acres all the way back all the way back to, into those woods there. So this is my view. So I haven't been able to, well, we have to bring our patio furniture over from our other home. But I'll be sitting out here, um, enjoying the quiet and the solitude. It's very nice. We had neighbors in a neighborhood and ugh, I quite like not having, there is a neighbor over there, but he's way far away. So anyway, that's, that's our, that's our um, 
story right there. Oh, here we go, real quick. I put my mannequins, or Maxwell did. That was it. That, I wish I had videoed that. He was so funny. <laughs> he was so funny. I'm like, Ma Maxwell, hold him by the waist. He's like, oh, I can't hold him by the boobs. And I'm like, Maxwell, and he was, he was just so funny. He's like, Mom, don't be rude. <laughs> He's such a darling. So I put my mannequins up there, got all my boxes and everything out from there. And uh, yeah, so, so that, we have Yoshi up there, <laughs> as you can say, so we don't take ourselves too serious. And then there, this is the, this is coming into our little, I don't know what it looks like now, this is coming into our little kitchen nook here. And uh, I got my Guinness over there, <laughs> my beer. I like a Guinness. Maxwell, Maxwell likes to play chess. So we have his chess set there. And I've done, a lot of people were asking me, I did, I did all of these um, cross stitches and cruel work years and years ago. Years and years ago. There's our chandelier. Oh, okay, update on the chandelier in the, uh, update in the chandelier in the um, family room, in the um, sewing room. There's my kitchen. Um, the chandelier will be, <laughs> will be uh, hung, but right now, um, right now, it's a huge job. And we are still debating very much whether to have it where the fan is, but we sort of need the fan uh, for the heat and the, the everything. So that, we're not, we're not jumping into anything. We are going to really have a think about my lovely chandelier. It may or may not come into this room. Um, we, we're, we're having a think about that. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys this morning, my lovely jars. And, and I will be um, showing you when the ladder goes up. And, uh, I have an idea of the of the, the first thing I sort of want to make. Actually, I have to I have to finish a few things. But um, if you want to see me, obviously people are waiting for a tutorial on something. But um, I'm sure you understand the enormity of this job. Uh, it's two and a half months, and here we are, pretty much pretty much good, pretty much good. But I just wanted to share you with the pretty jars, all my storage. I'm pretty I'm pretty well organized. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to share that with you. So I just put a few videos up of, uh, of us doing this. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, folks, have a lovely day. Bye. Okay, here's Elliot describing what he actually did and what he's doing right now from, um, from taking this out of our house, our old house, which um, I'll show you the video, to now. So what are you doing, Elliot? What did you do? So, so my mom was contemplating... Um, like getting pictures of of this mural that was on on the the side of a soffit, um, and uh, this was painted by a dear friend about 10, 12 years ago. Now um, onto the drywall. Onto the drywall, and my mom was contemplating getting pictures of it and printing it out, but I figured I'd just take the drywall, take the drywall out <laughs> of our old house. Of, of the you know, so I used I used an oscillating tool and I you know buzzed along. The, the the top the ceiling line and right on top of the right on because there was a shelf there I was able to use the the top of the metal corner bead on the soffit that went underneath and uh, just kind of run that ran the the, the 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 oscillating tool you know Dremel or whatever you want to call it multi tool um, and I just kind of used that as a fence to to be able to go right along it and yeah it's a lot of detail mom my mom put the glue on here and it's been put been been you know, cracking out. So I'll go, I'll get to get up there and, you know, do some, some, some glitter glue. We have to some, repair it a little bit, but this was, um, this was painted as a surprise to my husband and I, and I was, I had, uh, talked to Ben, Jen's husband, uh, who's a printer who was going to be able to print it out for us. And then we were going to save it. But as a surprise, my Elliot, he actually went uh, one day <laughs> and cut the drywall out figuring our house that we that we used to live in um, is being remodeled anyway to a uh, 21st century standard um, by my, our son's crew so he's like well they have to repair a bit of drywall that's okay mm -hmm. there's so, plenty of other drywall bits and, and yeah. that need to be repaired anyway yeah so, so he said he's like why not i'm going to take our mural it's very special to us Let's see. <laughs> reduce reuse recycle right yeah, yeah. so this is our mural and, and um they uh, have pictures of it in situ at the other house, but it's having a new life here in our almost 14 foot high sewing room. So, um, 
Yeah. This is this this ladder, although it's not for the faint of heart, is very safe. This is called a little giant. And my husband Ian, he um, as the main business, he was a uh, uh, installed window film. So you could grab me that pencil. Solar. Oh, sorry. Grab me that pencil. The pencil. Well, how am I going to grab it? Just, just stand. Just walk up. Just walk up. Just slightly up the ladder. Okay. I have to walk up. Oh no. Okay. I got to give him this pencil. I'll be right back. So I gave Elliot his pencil. He just has to um, just trim it a little bit to fit the um, ceiling here. Um, as I was saying, this ladder is very safe. It's a little giant. My husband has used this to install window film up in uh, Palladian windows and large homes, um, as well as a scaffolding. So he is safe. Um, but uh, yeah, it's not for the faint of heart. So, I'll check back when he makes more progress. Thank you, Elliot. Okay, we've hung the mural, and now we are hanging the names. You can't really see them, but we can see them. And Elliot, because he... Is it working? He's taking a, taking a, the, the drywall off of our other house and bringing it over. Some of the green paint uh, that our friend had painted has come off. So we are just touching it up with crayons. It's the, it's a ghetto fix, but it, it works. <laughs> it worked. Because I guess, um, I guess she painted this with acrylics. And um, yeah. So we are just now hanging our names and our houses up. We've added a house right there. We've added a house over here um, bet between Dominic and Elliot's name because they went to Puerto Rico and Elliot got that in Puerto Rico. They spent time there. So you've seen the original with everyone's names. Oh, um, Malia's L fell off, so we're just shoring that up. That's why that little block of wood is there. But that glue is mending. And Niles and, of course, Maxwell in the winter scene. And then we will be hanging our turtles. And as Elliot said, we're probably going to be, instead of t doing little nails on the piece of wood, we'll probably just be doing little eye hooks. I've zoomed this in. Oh, be careful where I'm going. <laughs> so cool. Good job, Elliot. Yeah. Got one? Yeah. Let's get up there. Daddy's hanging our turtles. Well, I'm touching the turtles. Jean-Pierre's turtle. What? Jean-Pierre's turtle. Yeah, and then Francois's turtle. And then Francois's turtle. Our special, special, special turtles. And there from they are. From Uganda. Yeah. Yeah, and from made Uganda. by hand in Uganda. By the village chief. Yeah. Isn't, isn't that amazing? 20 years ago. We've had these for 20 years. And special, the, special. The dear lady that brought them over ran a school for abused children. Yeah. In Philadelphia? Oh, no. In, no, in, in Uganda. Uganda. That's right. She came. Were they orphans? Many yes. Of them? Yeah. Of war, you know, all sorts of yeah, orphans and... Yeah. Okay. She made these for us, which is just amazing. She had them made for us. Hi, I need to get up there. Okay, why do you need to get up here? <laughs> I'm up on the ladder. <laughs> I, love it. I know, why do you need to get up here? What is Maxwell doing today? I need to get up in, in the attic. Yeah. Well, I can't see, there's no light in there. So you went I, I, I missed the old house, it doesn't have a light in the attic. I know, I know. So you went and get, got Daddy's headlamp, right? Yes. Cool.
Take it into the side.